Hey, how's it going, everybody? So I'm working in Logic today, and um, in particular, um, looking at some guitar effects pedals. And I wanted to be able to turn an effects pedal on or off with a MIDI foot switch controller. Um, so what I've got is a uh, foot switch like this one here. This is by Boss. Um, and I'm running into the foot switch port on a uh, Behringer BCF 2000. Um, so let's take a look at how we set that up and get that to work. So I have a Logic session open here with one audio track. I've got my guitar um, set as the input, and I've got just a basic um, Logic stock guitar amp uh, simulator. And what I want to do is add a foot switch um, control to the pedal board. So if I were to grab a um, guitar pedal and um, have that as part of my guitar rig, then, you know, I, you know so what I want to do is I want to be able to turn that on and off like I would if I had the pedal on the floor in my studio. So what I need to do is open up the smart controls and take a look at some of these uh, parameter mappings here. Right now, everything is unmapped um, for these eight controls. And um, this is just a graphic. Um, you've got a lot of different choices here on different graphics that you can pull up if you need more, uh, like if you need 12, uh, or, or you know something a little bit more um, relevant to what you're trying to control. You've got some factory layouts. This is um, going to work fine for what we're doing here. I, I just want to map uh, the, the on-off switch of this pedal. And so what I need to do is select one of these parameters. I'll take the first one and I'm going to assign that to be um, the on and off switch. Okay, so this says unmapped. You know, this parameter is currently unmapped and now I need to assign it to um, what it is that I want to control. So pedal board, slot one, grit, uh, grit um, and pedal state, either on or off. Okay, so now this is no longer unmapped. It shows that it's metal, uh, Lord. It shows that it's mapped to pedal board, pedal state. Okay, the range here is either gonna be bypassed, off, or active. And so now what I need to do is assign this to my foot switch. And that, that part's pretty easy. It's just an external assignment. Um, it's, we're gonna just do a MIDI learn. Um, you will see this, um, um, the smart controls are already controlling the, um, the foot pedal. Um, so now, yeah, I just need to learn my foot switch. So I click the learn button and I step on the foot switch. It's active. Step on it again. It's bypassed. And I'm done with the MIDI learn. And so that part is done. And that's pretty simple. And it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, so let's, let's take a look here. So it, um, it doesn't need to be a logic pedal board. Um, I could change it to um, a third party pedal, you know, something I've got. I don't have that many, but um, it does not need to be a logic pedal board. I can load a third party pedal um, like this Tube Screamer. And, but what I want to do is then come down and um, under parameter mapping, I want to delete all patch mappings and, um, okay, yeah, that's showing unmapped. Okay, good. And then, um, and then reassign this. So I've got this first um, control selected. I'll go to my Tube Screamer and select the Tube Screamer state for that one. And same process. I want, to, um, I want that control to learn the MIDI controller. Um, that didn't 
Oh, there we go. So same process and very simple. Okay, there's another thing that we can do with this real quick um, that I'll show you. And let's um, just kind of clean house here. We'll delete all the patch mappings. And let's take a look at, let's delete these um, learned assignments just to kind of clean house a little bit. All right, and hold on. Um, so what we can do here now is um, is also pretty cool is um, how do we do this? Um, map all controls. This is going to do like an auto map. Whoa. All right. So now this has given me, um, what has this done? This has mapped controls from the amp. Gain, bass, mids, treble. And it's mapped controls from my effect pedal. Pedal state, on, off, um, drive, tone and level. All right, so now what I want to do is map these parameters to my MIDI controller. All right, so um, I can just do the MIDI learn process right down the line um, with my MIDI controller. So for gain, it's going to learn the gain. And then I select the next controller, bass, and um, click learn. Good. Click mids, MIDI learn, MIDI learn off, treble, select the parameter, select MIDI learn, move the controller, turn learn off. All right. This is my on or off bypass switch. So I've got the selector, um, the controller selected, and I hit learn, step on my foot switch, step on my foot switch. Learn off, good. Uh, same process, drive, learn, uh, let's see, that'll be channel five. And then right down the line, learn, learn. Um, so there you go. So now that's pretty sweet. I've got complete control over my amp. and my foot pedal um, from my MIDI controller. Maybe it would be helpful if I opened up the amp and you could see what some of this is doing here. And I'll open up that foot pedal too. Uh, I may make this a little smaller. Right, can we all see that? There's my foot pedal for the, um, um, or the on off switch for the foot pedal. And let's control some of the parameters on the amp. If you can see those parameters on the foot pedal. There you go. So, um, pretty handy to uh, be able to do that, I think. And um, I hope that you have learned something and enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or comments about anything that we covered here, or um, if you want me to dig in or talk about something else, just let me know. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.